Hello YouTube, this is Frank from Architecture Aesthetics and welcome to my watercolor monument series. The purpose of this series is to extract and discuss the essence of some of the most iconic monumental architectures and of course strive to improve my watercolor architectural rendering skills. In this episode, we'll be looking at the Sumerian ziggurat, to be more specific, the Great Ziggurat at Ur. Situated in modern-day Iraq and constructed in the 21st century BCE, the ziggurat is one of the oldest building types. With its stepped receding platforms reaching up to 30 meters tall, the ziggurat building type is a testament to the design concept of many religious buildings across different cultures which is to construct a giant structure so tall that humans can get as close to the heavenly beings as possible. Surely when we look at the Tibetan Potala Palace, even sacrificial related buildings such as the Mesoamerican pyramids, the intention behind their designs are consistent with this desire for tall structures. Personally, I think the reason why the ziggurat building type is so appealing is twofold. First of all, the Grand Stair system has an awe-inspiring aura to it. Military defense purpose aside, being the only means of accessing the temple, standing in front of these stairs that are seemingly leading to heaven must be such a humbling experience that one is stripped of all his ego. Without any accessibility measurements such as ramps, the connotation here is that one's respect for the deity is manifested in one's willingness to climb all those stairs one step at a time. Secondly, the ziggurat appeals to me because of its strict formal logic. Given the fact that a ziggurat was constructed in every major Sumerian cities, it has surprisingly limited programs for a civic building. The elevated platforms are solid and were built strictly for the purpose for vertical reach and are devoid of any additional programs inside of them. This lack of programs, or in other words, the deliberation of putting as little as possible into the building to accentuate its formal logic, is integral to the making of any monumental architecture. Now let's talk about the painting techniques. Being my fifth watercolor attempt, I'm beginning to enjoy more and more the pleasure of wiggling my brush in a puddle of water to cover areas with color. I am also starting to appreciate the waiting time for pigments to dry. Comparing to improvisational watercolor sketches, I am more of a fan of controlled, deliberated watercolor washes. And to really take full advantage of watercolor's semi-transparent nature to convey a building's mass. Stemming from this reason, rigorous pencil framework aside, I paid extra heed to the hues of the different faces, thus depicting its volume by showing how much sunlight it catches. And lastly, let's do some self-criticism. The cast shadows on the elevations, in my opinion, look flat and unconvincing, and the shadow casted by the wall extrusions on the platforms look too saturated, whereas I should have painted them with a duller, complementary color of yellow. All these weak points regarding the shadows all to be carefully studied and improved upon in my next work. Alright guys, that wraps up today's video. I hope you found it informative. Please comment, like, and subscribe to the channel, and I will see all of you in the next video. Bye bye.